Here at the KitchenAid Customer Satisfaction Center, we hear all sorts of questions about the KitchenAid appliances and attachments and how to use them. Our goal is to keep you, our customer, happy. So hopefully you'll find these videos helpful, informative, and maybe a little bit fun. We'll place about three cups of flour into the mixer's work bowl. Four eggs and a small amount of water may need to be added. Attach the flat beater and raise the bowl up. Turn the mixer on to stir speed for about 30 seconds or until the ingredients are incorporated. After about 30 seconds, you want to turn the mixer off and remove the flat beater and add your spiral knead dough hook. Raise the bowl back up, turn the mixer on to speed two, and let the dough hook knead the dough for about another two minutes. The consistency that you should see is something like a pastry dough, soft and crumbly, not sticky. At the end of two minutes, lower the bowl to check the dough and hand knead in any of the rest of the dry ingredients. As long as the dough holds together in your hands, it should be ready to rest and roll. After your pasta dough has rested for a little while, we're ready to attach the pasta roller attachment and roll out some sheets of dough. You can use speed two or four, and at setting number one, you'll begin to roll out some sheets of dough. You'll want to fold the dough and feed the creased side into the roller, usually four or five times until the consistency of the dough is smooth and, again, leathery. After you have your consistency to where you'd like it, you go ahead and thin the dough out. At this point, you no longer need to fold the dough. You're just going to feed it in end to end and then change the settings thinner and thinner until you have the thickness of noodle that you prefer, whether it's fettuccine or egg noodles. You can go between uh, one and eight. Continue to roll the sheets out thinner and thinner. And then we'll lay the sheet on the rack until I'm ready to cut. Attach the cutter of your choice, making sure the thumb screw is tightened down well. Again, on speed four, just insert the end of the pasta dough sheet through the roller. And out comes the pasta, ready to break in half and boil.